Okay, this fly is a, a basically a UK still water pattern um, used for damsels. And uh, it's pretty popular, and not a lot of people uh, I know of fish it in, in the US yet, but uh, it's, it's pretty good. I've been experimenting with different colors and uh, shade combinations, but this one I'm going to tie right now is, uh, is an olive one. It's probably more imitative of. Uh, the stuff we have around here. Anyway, this is a size 10, 5263, and you could probably use whatever still water hook that you like, 10 to 14, whichever, depends on the time of year you're fishing. And this will fish good year round, anyway, not just during the damsel hatch. So for the thread, I'm just using some UTC uh, gel spun olive, 50 denier, and then for the tail, I'm going to use some. Uh, grizzly olive marabou, about the length of the body, and tie that in. And depending on the size and the type of the marabou, you can actually, um, we're going to put a back in here, but you can actually use a portion of that if you wanted, for the tail for the back, but I'm not going to. So I'm basically just going to grab another piece here, and I'm going to tie it in at the tip right next to this and oh, before I forget um, I like to tie in a little bit of flash in the tail I don't know if it makes a huge difference so I'm going to use uh, some uh, orange crystal flash and just tie that in right there just have that go on the tail. And then for the body, the UK fly uses what's called glister dubbing. I don't have any of that, but uh, this stuff is going to work the same. This is just some uh, UV or ice dub. Um, what I, I think one of the things that they use in this is the, the fact that it's a contrasting color between the marabou, which will be the back and the body. So this is going to be a more of a, um, a golden olive type color. And I'm going to use a dubbing loop for this. So I'm going to use our dubbing loop tool here and just put on a little bit of a loop and tie this in. never used a dubbing loop. It's not too difficult. Just got to slide in the dubbing a little bit at a time, starting from the top and moving down. And this is only, the first batch is only going to go halfway up, so we don't need a ton. And then give it a good spin. this on for the body. I'm going to go about halfway up, a little bit more, and then build up a taper at that point, and then tie off my loop. And this is where I'm going to tie down the first uh, part of the back, like that. First, I'm going to tie in some pheasant rump. What I've got here is some pheasant rump, and I'm going to use these iridescent little pieces to be the throat on this fly. It's going to imitate our legs or whatever. And they don't need to be really long, just enough to probably get back to the bend of the hook or thereabouts. I'll turn that upside down and tie these on. Nothing fancy. Now I'm going to tie down the back over the first section. I'm going to go back a little bit further onto the body, not on the bear hook. And I'll keep that off the side. And i got to make a loop again to finish this off.
And you can go back over the backing there a little bit. It gives it a little bit of a better profile. And I'm just going to tie this off. And then work my way back a little to clean up some for the head. And then tie down this section here. the nice head with finish and we're done there is our glister damsel